Okay, in this video, we're going to move on to the layout or the automatic place and route of the cell that we synthesize using Genus. Now, the Genus flow that we used uh, using the iSpatial flow last time did an initial placement of the design, uh, but there are many things that were not done. For instance, clock tree synthesis and the layout was not routed optimally. Uh, so in this portion of the design flow, we're going to take care of those things. Uh, to do so, we're going to open up Inibus, and we're going to do so in the stylus mode. So I'm going to pass the option minus stylus, and I'm going to open up Inibus. Now this will take a few moments. All right, so you can see that Inibus is now open, at least the GUI is now open. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do is read the database that Genis wrote out. I'm going to do that using the command read underscore db. And I'm going to give the name of the database. In our case, it was capital INBS. Now this process also will take a few moments. All right, so the import is done. You can now see that the design is instantiated. Uh, and one of the things that you might notice is that the pins have moved around from where our original floor plan placed them. I'm actually going to go in and reload the floor plan by going to File, Load, Floor Plan. And I'm going to reload the initial floor plan. Now I also realized in this floor plan that I made a mistake and I put the output pins on Metal 1 and I actually want them on Metal 3. So I'm going to go into Edit, Pin Editor. I'm going to select the output pins. I'm going to move them from metal 1 to metal 3, and I'm going to click Apply, and that should be done now. All right, and with that, we are about ready to begin the uh, automatic place and route process. We're going to see that the layout will stay more or less the same, but things are going to be optimized. We're going to do things like insert a clock tree. Uh, till now, the uh, layout has been uh, done assuming that the clock had ideal drive. Uh, it will uh, now include uh, the clock tree synthesis. So let's begin. Here is an init script that we're going to run. The init script is going to set our supply and ground net names uh, and provide connections to pins. And then also add uh, tie off cells, a tie low cell and a tie high cell uh, in order to tie any uh, inputs or out uh, or outputs uh, to uh, ground or VDD uh, that would otherwise be set to zero or one, uh, and then we're going to do timing design uh, and optimize the timing design pre clock tree synthesis or pre CTS. Now to run the script, I'm going to go back to my shell and I'm going to source this initialization script. I keep my scripts in a folder that's one level above the working directory called uh, scripts. And this one is called init.tickle. All right, so I'm going to run this and uh, we will come back after the pre-CTS timing design and optimization has been done.